I mean, I'm a child of Star Wars, of course. I grew up, I saw the first film in the theaters in 1977, and that's, you know, was seminal. Like, that set my life's course. And I think a lot of what I do now is try to get back to the, that moment of, you know, that uh, insane joy and obsession that happened at being a five-year-old watching a movie like that and being like, this is the greatest thing ever. And um, so that absolutely was an influence, like wanting to make that. But also, I think more recently, uh, things like Firefly, just the, the tone, the ability to have something that's both serious and funny and the sort of visual quality of it. Um, uh, I'm also a huge fan of Buckaroo Banzai, and I think the idea of the sort of like, like the rock star who's also a neurosurgeon who's also a scientist, like that is, I want to be that for real. Like that's my actual, you know, that's my role model right there. Um, so all of that stuff, and especially like 80s science fiction movies, because that's, I just, you know, I thrived on them, a lot of B movies, like all that stuff just is being compiled to make this. And I, and I love the idea of making science fiction because I can talk about obviously current issues that interest me. and. The project originally started this sort of critique of corporate culture, which is still valid, but now it's turned into all these other sort of things that become interesting to me. So, for instance, the band in the um, in League of Space Parts is becoming more and more popular, and then they're dealing with their popularity. And like, if their goal is to sort of fight this corporate entity anonymously, what happens when the band that's supposed to be their cover becomes their uh, actual like main job, and then everyone gets caught up in that, and 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 they maybe become more powerful as a popular music band instead of as criminals trying to fight this organization. So, you know, I get, I get to explore these topics with that.